What's going on down at Lake of the Ozarks? I don't know. Water came up. Got some rain. I'm going to show you the details. Well, I believe the fishing has got worse. But I have only fished in the glaze the last few days. We have a lot of new water coming down. All kinds of tributaries that go into the Grand Glaze. Did you know that there is like three or four different glazes? There's the Wet Glaze and the Dry Glaze and the Aw Glaze. And I think um, there's even more than that on uh, that, that funnel into that. So that whole tributary system collects a ton of water when you get rain in the southern part of Lake of the Ozarks and what doesn't feed into the Osage or the Gasconade actually feeds into the glaze so you get a lot of runoff we've got a lot of new water it seems like I don't know if it's the air temps but the new water is colder I don't know if it's not that much colder but you still have 65 degree water temps most of the day and then if you get into the back of a cove somewhere in the glaze <coughs> excuse me in the evening time it's about 62 so kind of staying steady in that range even with the water coming up it it came up uh like on my gauge, it was 1.84 that it came up. Then they started pulling water like crazy. And not steadily, but a lot of power generation going on. Because the Osage behind Bagnell is is flooded up into the trees. So, there's a lot of water flow going on. That being said, I don't think the fish are really used to it yet. Or... You know, our moon phase has changed. I know there's still fish trying to bed, but not not as much in the glaze. The other parts of the lake is a different story. If you get up around the 8-mile marker, the mouth of the Graboys up in there, there's a lot more fish that you can see shallow. There are fish shallow in the glaze, but we're just catching small ones. I... I have yet to find a good school of keepers or a good pattern to catch bigger bass. So that's not good if I want to fish the BFL or a Wednesday nighter or a Thursday nighter or a Friday nighter or a Saturday nighter. All those have started up. So we've got a lot of tournaments coming up and I would not even know what to do to be honest just go out there and go fishing i slowed down last night with a striking rage bug and caught some small ones and then my lovely fishing sidekick came with me and she was catching a lot of small crappie right off the bank so felt like to me a lot of new wave of small crappie were coming in i think they're liking the new water they weren't necessarily on a bed but there was a lot of smaller crappie shallow. So I think we're going to get a new wave come in as we get into May now. I think the fishing will get better and better. Once the water kind of stabilizes, I think we're going to have some really good shallow water fishing. So that's what's going on in the glaze. Sorry, no big ones to report, but things are happening it's a day-by-day -day thing. One day we have rains and clouds. One day it's really sunny and 85, 86 degrees. So we're still developing as the spring comes in. Now we've got all the leaves on the trees. And the fish are really ready to do their thing. So hopefully the water stabilizes. And more and more fish are going to be coming shallow. It's a great time to come down right now. I think tonight might show us some different things. We might try some top waters. We might try a glide bay or something a little different. And then if that's not working, 
going to really slow down and try to pick apart some shallow cover. I'm wanting to find some fish shallow, but anyway, just keep trying it. Get out there on the water. Good luck to everyone going to the Wednesday Nighters. The, uh, the couple that was running those has turned it over to Corey Cook. Corey and his girlfriend, wife, I'm not sure what she is, but um, they are running the Wednesday Nighters, and I believe they still have a Thursday Nighter going on. They run a good tournament. Corey is a super good dude. He's going to be fair across the board. It's a low-key fun just go out and see all your friends type of tournament it's something that is uh i something that i look forward to every every year um so hopefully i'm i'll be able to get into some it's hard for me to uh put my money up when i'm not really on anything so um I'll probably fish tonight, but I don't know if I'll get into the tournament. But anyway, thanks for listening. It's a quick one just to kind of s- tell everyone what the current conditions are and uh, to do some historical saving of some data that uh, I can go back and research later. So everyone be safe on the water. Come down and go fishing.